Yeah, I'm doing this video to save uh, people the frustration of uh, figuring out how to do a, a, a bypass of the air smog pump on a 5.8 351 Ford engine. I think it's a Windsor. I'm not 100% sure. This is a 1993 E350 Ford van. And it took me a few days of going back and forth to AutoZone, and then finally I found a good thread on how to how to do it exactly. Um, once the uh, air sm the problem is is once the air smog pump is is uh, bypassed, the tension roller has has almost zero effect on it because it's been bypassed so what needs to happen is the belt needs to be rerouted um, the, <clears throat> with, with the belt uh, rerouting the top pulley is not needed you can see where I took that out of there on top there and um, here's how it's the, the belt goes uh, now there is a diagram on this. The information I f I didn't figure this out myself. I found this at the Ford Truck Enthusi Enthusiasts. Got it written down right here. Ford Truck Enthusiasts Forum, and under the subheading "Older uh, Older Classic and Antique Trucks, 1987 to 1996, F-150 and larger F-Series." But it's similar to the E, and I've got an E350. Um, now the original poster, I forgot, but he was running into the same problem I was. Once you try to bypass it, uh, the tension has uh, almost no effect on it. If it's if you try to if you try to run the belt the original way, and also with the reroute, you need to remove the the uh, pulley. This is the uh, air air smog pump pulley you need to take that off that's 10 millimeter you want to make sure you have a nice tight fit on that you don't want to strip those you're going to cause a, a lot more work so I went down and I got a brand new half inch drive 10 millimeter it's only 499 at, at AutoZone that's where I went yeah, and it came off very easily sometimes it can be hard if they're rusted and seasoned on there but my, fortunately mine came off easily my smog pump. Uh, this this vehicle has been sitting undriven since late 2009, so you can just imagine how many problems it has now. I was starting it a few times a year through uh, 2012. I missed 2013 because I was sick. Came out in 2014 to start it. Nothing. It started with a fuel pump, and then it just went on from there. Starter was intermittent. I took that apart and burnished it. So far, so good. And then one thing after the other. Uh, Replace the distributor and the rotor because uh, even though I had less than a thousand miles on them, the, there was metal fatigue. So that's one thing you want to bear in mind when you're trying to get these things going again. Even though the uh, distributor and rotor might just have uh, a few hundred miles on it, if it's been sitting for almost a decade, that that metal can just corrode internally and, and get fatigued, and uh, so you can't really depend on the miles. Uh, of life just the years of life can take its toll too okay now back to the belt routing on the right side it's the same you can see right there it's the same for the for the diagram um, and over here is where the difference is you've got a uh, now I could stick the tie I'm gonna stick the, the top tension or pet, top idler back on. I'm going to be selling this, so I just wanted to get it going. But it, it has been working great like this. You need a 97.5 inch belt. I didn't want to put a lot of money into it, so I got a value craft. Um, I've been uh, overall, I've been happy with value craft. I know some of it's uh, really borderline, but this this belt uh, seems to be decent. And this is the belt 97.5 K6. That's the belt. Now another tip is is that when you're putting it on, and this is another thing that I got from uh, off the forum too. When you're putting it on, the last the last part you want to put the belt over is the the fan housing uh, bell right right down here. 
and I had to add a little uh, liquid soap smear on there too to slide it easy. It got about halfway on then because the rest of it was rusty. Uh, it had problems, so after just a little tiny bit of, of liquid soap on there, uh, it went on real easy. But that's the last thing you want. Another tip is, is you're going to have to, when you do that, 97.5 is a tight fit, but it will work good, and that's what the other uh, uh, posters said, too. They were they testified that, how, how, that, that that's exactly what they did, and that's exactly what they needed in the belt size, so... I was going back to AutoZone a few, more than a few times. I don't know how many times I went, three or four times back and forth trying to do it before I discovered this uh, thread on, a, on the forum. Um, another thing is, is you need to, uh, uh, when, you're, when you're putting the 97.5 inch belt in, you need to uh, pull that tension lever back counterclockwise as far as it'll go. Um, and you need to have leverage on it and this uh, radiator pump will get in the way some people do remove it I didn't what I had was I had a stubby uh, a stubby uh, uh, ratchet drive on their length handle and then when I when I moved it past here then I put the, the leverage uh, uh, bar on it the leverage pipe so I could so I could then crank it as far left as as possible, and you need to do that so it'll get it to fit. And that little bit of liquid soap is a good tip to get it on there. I didn't see anybody else mention that. You you obviously do not want to use oil or grease on there. Liquid soap's not going to hurt anything. You don't want to use anything but but liquid soap. I mean, dry soap might work in a pinch. You could you can rub some of that on there. I don't know about wax. I, I, I wouldn't recommend that. Um, um, but that's about it. You can see... Uh, now, you can... Th there is a diagram and pictures on it. Uh, uh, the main contributor to this uh, with the pictures and diagram was White Max. That's his name. White Max. On the, at the, at the, uh, this is the Ford Enthusiasts... Uh, truck forum once again older a classic and antique trucks the 1987 to 1996 f-150 and larger f-series which also includes the the e50 e350 which is what i have i've got the 5.8 351 engine in here so everything worked great um There is a Deco belt on it too, so you could. I don't. I for, I forgot what the. Uh, oh, the Deco. I've got it written down here. It's the Deco. Uh, if you like, if you want to buy a Deco part instead of the Value Craft, it's it's a uh, five zero six zero nine seven five. So um, that's about all I can remember. Uh, um, to do those are about all the tips I can uh, I can think of uh, that's a, f a 15 millimeter uh, on the uh, attention idler and uh, a 50 t50 uh, star torx on the uh, top top idler and uh, uh, I think it's uh, and I can't even think of it now but there's there's one uh, place uh, that has really good uh, repair videos. I mean, they also sell stuff, and that's one of the reasons why they have good uh, repair videos because they want their tutorials on how to how to replace the parts that they sell. But I think A1 Auto, A1 Auto is really good. There's a lot of good ones on there, and I do not work for A1. I have nothing to do with them, but but they, he does have good videos, good tutorial videos. So there you go right there. You can see how different it is now. And that small and pump poly does, does have to come off. If you're in some uh, strict uh, states like California, you're technically you're not allowed to do that. Now you can also get a, a what's called a delete kit. And you can install a pulley in there. And then that way you can use the original belt. But that pulley, I, I think the cheapest I found was about 50 bucks. So... And then you then you have to take the old uh, old pump out of there. So this way you only have to take the pulley off of the original pump and and um, 
you know if you if you don't have the uh, if your air compressor shot too uh, you can just bypass that too so but this is the way I it's run around the air compressor that that, that on to the right that's normal and power steering pumps normal and then it then it comes up and uh, to get the picture and the diagram of the the new belt routing bypassing the uh, uh, air smog pump that seizes up or uh, it goes bad and starts to squeal loudly uh, then you want to go to that forum it's once again Ford truck enthusiasts and um, the older classic and antique trucks 1987 to 1996 white max was the contributor so I didn't write down everything and I didn't write down the original contributor uh, but the one that had the good information with it, the belt routing and belt rerouting was uh, White Max uh, and uh, he had both a, a, picture, a picture of it and then he had a diagram in, in red where, where, the, where the new routing goes so that's been working great for me um, so I just wanted to help somebody out so they wouldn't be uh, going crazy trying to figure it out so I can testify it also like the other uh, some other uh, posters on the forum were that it works great so I can also testify it works great and uh, once again you want to use a 97.5 inch belt now the uh, a lot of the uh, the other ones for that if you've got a 5.0 uh, engine 5.0301 now they'll take just they'll take a 87.5 inches belt so 10 inches, so there's the, a 10 inch difference between uh, the 5.0 engine and the 5.8 engine. Assuming you've got the air in there and all the other accessories. So Now that one when I was searching, that's the one that came up the most. It's a little harder to find that, but if you just input uh, 5.8 uh, and then pump bypass then that's that's how I came up with this one so so um, good luck on it take your time be patient uh, as always uh, make sure you have everything shredded okay and uh, and uh, check out the other tutorials too because they will be similar um, but one of the most important things is to, to crank that tension all the way over to the left and you're going to have to either remove the, the top hose or if you have a stubby uh, handled ratchet you can get that under there and then put the pipe over that to, 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 give, you, to, give, it, to give, it, give you the leverage that you need and uh, the soap helps if, uh, if it's rusty like mine this this paint was okay and it slid over that okay but once on the center there under where the belt usually goes there it was rusty so too much friction from the rust okay there you go good luck on it thanks bye